Hello and welcome back to Citizen Pew Garage and in this video I'm going to talk about this right here. It's a little puppy fencing, right? Well, our dogs are a year old, so they're not quite puppy still, but they're short. So we got this 24 inch tall fencing that we use to build a temporary little playground for them out here. So that, you know, while we got to do stuff in the house, like clean and stuff like that, to get them out of the way and get them some outside time, they have a safe little contained area that they can play in. So down the line we might have a fence around the back property or something like that but i mean it's really just a field behind us and then behind that field is a freaking road so but i've had a lot of people mention that they've seen this fence from the road um looking across the field at our house and i said yeah it's our doggy fencing so we ordered this on amazon um we ordered originally a 16 piece set and then found that we needed more so we ordered another 16 piece set you can order these in 32 uh, piece sets as well um, Each 16 piece set came with two doors. So we have four doors now, but um, you get it in different heights too. This is 24 inch and um, I believe they go I believe it's 24 36 and 48, but uh, Like I said for our little puppies. This is perfect when it's in there. They can stand up on their hind feet They can put their front feet on here and bark at you um, But yeah, and it just goes together with these little metal rods here and so on each piece here there's a metal tab and they're offset based on which side you have. And then you slide the little metal rod through them and then, then it, it goes into the ground, probably about two or three inches. And it actually holds it up pretty steady. So anyhow, I mowed the yard this morning and I got to put it back up. So I figured, you know what, let's do a video so people could see. I like to do patterns. So sometimes I'll make big curves. Sometimes I'll do it squared off. Every time I mow the yard, I, I bring it back, I create a different pattern. So, you know, the dogs never have the same scenario in there. And reuse the deck. So I built that deck last year. And uh, I still got a little bit of work to do on it. I'll probably do a video on that as I do the touch-ups on it. But I built it right before winter, so I didn't get to finish everything. I still got to tension the, 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 the strings a little bit more and a few other things. But anyhow, reuse the deck as part of the fencing. So one of these goes against the house on the other side of the deck and it comes out and then I bring it up over here to the other edge of the deck where I have those bricks that helps hold that in there because I don't have enough of these uh, for that last one usually so but uh, that gives them the, they can go under the deck and stuff like that too that's where most of their toys end up and they lay down underneath there so underneath the deck is just you know gravel so yeah but anyhow yeah, I'll do a fast forward video so you can see, uh, or when I'm putting this up, it'll be like fast mode. Maybe some music in the background so you can see how I kind of do my little design. I think I'm going to go with a giant S curve this time. So, all right, I'm going to get started. <laughs>
All right, there you go. There's the fence. As you can see, it's all up. I put all four doors right there by the opening because we're not going to go let them out over on the other side. We just bring them out the front, uh, the back door, put them in the cage so we go do some cleaning and stuff like that. And you can see I did a kind of a giant swooping curve thing. I've done squared off before and stuff like that. Um, so the nice thing about the curve is, is if you don't, if you start at two different points to come together, it's really easy just to get it to kind of work together. So. Uh, when you do the squared off type where you do 90s and stuff like that, you really should start on one side and just work to the other end. But I will tell you with this stuff, um, with the distance it is, you can span about two pieces total without having some type of turn or bend or 90 in there to create stability. So with the curves, the nice thing about a curve is you have a constant stability of the fence and it, it just stays up. So like that. But when you do 90s and stuff like that, um, you really can't go more than two sections without like a corner, you know, without making a corner. Otherwise, you're not, you know, three sections and it's a little too unstable. Even our small little dogs can, you know, they, they work on it enough, they'll knock it over. So, but anyhow, there you go. That's the fencing. Um, like I said, we picked up a 16 piece set and then we picked up another one because we needed it. Um, we just wanted to give them more room to roam around and stuff and, and all that, but make sure my camera's still on um but yeah it works out good we run it to the deck into the back of the house there against the brick now you can buy these things that attach to your house so that you can anchor a piece um to your house but uh, we just use bricks and it holds it up enough for our dogs you know if you have some some bigger dogs that you're going to put in something a fence this size you know you might want to get those anchors um but yeah we haven't seen the need for them yet but this way, like I said, they got plenty of room to run around in here. They got plenty of shaded area when the sun's on the other side of the of my shop here. And then when the sun's on that side, they can always just run underneath the uh, the patio and uh, hang out down there. So, yep. Anyhow, there you go. That's the doggy fencing we have. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on it if you've used it. Uh, it's not cheap. I think we paid 100 bucks for each set of 16. So this right here is about a $200 uh, two hundred dollars worth of it you might be able to catch it on sale get it get a 32 piece set if you buy it all it's 32 piece you might be able to get it cheaper too but um you know it works good for us the little two mini schnauzers we have they can't knock it over and all that you know and then also i use it too if we need to have them outside or something like that because i'm working on something you know i can move this around anywhere on the yard and stuff like that so down the line eventually we'd like to have a little fence that goes around the property but you know that's uh that's another day so all right that's my video let me know what you think put a comment down in the comment section give it a video a thumbs up if you liked it uh don't forget you can check out all my stuff on my garage channel i got my little project truck um i have stuff i'm doing in my shop home improvement stuff i wish i would have started the channel before i did the deck but i did the deck but i'll probably do a video on it just because uh there's some lessons i learned that was the first like deck I, I built from scratch and everything so yeah you learn a little bit but uh it looks pretty good i gotta do a couple tweaking to it like i said anyhow thank you for watching the video and uh if you're not subscribed to the channel please hit that subscribe button and uh if there's anything you'd like to know about the doggy fence by all means leave a comment and i'll do my best to answer it so all right that's all i have for you thank you for watching and y'all have a good day